bodybuilders are not functional. This is a fact. When talking about fitness, the word fitness relates to a healthy lifestyle, being able to move well. Well, bodybuilding achieves none of that. The word fitness can be referred to the functional fitness, which means fitness that helps everyday activities, movements, and lifestyles. But I'll get to that in a second. Bodybuilding has been mistaken for functional fitness, when in reality, it is specific training. Specific training is training that is training specifically for specific goals. <clears throat> and in a bodybuilder's case, their style of training is to get as big as possible, to put on as much muscle mass as possible. This is not functional fitness because it won't help them in everyday activities. Instead, it is specific training because the training is specific in which it is muscular hypertrophy. However, generating as much muscle mass as possible won't actually help you. The common belief is that putting on as much muscle mass will allow you to move better. But that is correct only to a certain extent because muscle mass is also weight. The more muscle mass you have, the harder it is for you to move around. So for bodybuilders weighing 200 plus pounds, it's going to be a lot harder for them to move around. And in a bodybuilder style of training that does not mimic everyday movements and activities, they're going to put on dead weight, non-functional muscle that won't help them walk, sprint, run, jump, or change direction very quickly. And so that muscle instead becomes dead weight. This is why when Chris Bumstead stated when he played basketball, he couldn't walk for an entire week. A minute game of pickup basketball would probably be not very good for your knees. No, I, I did it last year. We played, probably played for almost an hour. It was pretty long and I could not walk for a week. It's because his BMI is almost morbid and obese. All that muscle mass didn't help him in the basketball game, but instead put extreme high pressure on his body thus destroying his knees and making him unable to walk for weeks. You might think he's over-exaggerating, but realistically, this is the case for most bodybuilders. They're just too heavy for their weight class. Yes, all that muscle can come in handy at a certain extent, but for everyday activities, jumping, sprinting, they're just too heavy for their weight class. Way too heavy. It's why bodybuilders can't sprint very well. It's because all that muscle mass weighs them down and as stated before, a bodybuilder style of training is not functional as it does not mimic everyday movements and activities. And so the bodybuilder instead gets weighed down by his enormous amounts of muscle mass. Doesn't matter if you do recreational bodybuilding or competitive bodybuilding, your training is specific, not functional. Functional training instead is simply training the movement. For example, getting better at the movement. For example, one example is getting better at the squat or getting better at the pull-up. These are functional movements that are used in everyday activities. One good way to switch from specific training to functional training is to stop using machines and instead focus on free weights and other large compound movements that require stability and strength demands that most machines don't require to. For example, Doing a barbell squat instead of a hack squat or doing a bench press instead of a chest press machine. These small changes will allow you to switch from specific training to functional fitness because the functional fitness movements are movements used in everyday activities. You won't sit down and use a chest press machine to for say push furniture. Instead you use your body without the assistance of a machine. But everyone has different goals, right? Well, yes, of course, if you want to be a bodybuilder, if you really want to put on as much muscle mass as possible, go for it. I'm not stopping you. But why am I advocating for functional fitness over bodybuilding? It's simple. Functional fitness, in my opinion, will lead to a better lifestyle. As stated before, the word fitness means a healthier lifestyle. Being physically capable and being physically fit. Well, bodybuilding isn't that. Fitness isn't steroids. It isn't body dysmorphia. It isn't toxic comparison. It isn't putting on as much muscle mass that it hurts your performance. The reason I created this video was for two specific reasons. The first reason is why bodybuilding is not functional. The second reason is to warn you of the dangers of bodybuilding. This is what Mario Rios describes as the fitness matrix or the media trying to manipulate you that bodybuilding is healthy and that bodybuilding is fitness. Well, in reality, I really don't think so. I respect bodybuilders, but I don't think bodybuilders fit the definition of a healthy lifestyle. No days old, Chris Bumstead, and so many others, they've all suffered from health complications. These famous bodybuilders suffer from health issues that are not related to fitness. 
In fact, exercise might altogether even eliminate or even reduce significant chances of these health complications. So why? Why are all these bodybuilders suffering? Is it because of genetics or is it because of bodybuilding? I am not hating on any of these individuals. However, I have to use them as an example to express my point of why bodybuilding is not healthy or functional or the safest option out there. Of course, steroids are a huge part of bodybuilding complication, health complications. But even without steroids, can a bodybuilder jump, sprint, change directions, and move really quickly in day-to-day -day real life activities? Not really. Bodybuilding isn't healthy. So watch this video right here, right there, of how I escaped the fitness matrix. And please subscribe and try to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If I don't hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll come to your house and I'll place a bomb in your basement.